there's definitely some lies here. He's conflicted because what he likes about you is that you paid attention to him. But now you're paying attention to yourself. So he knows what he's doing. He feels guilty about that. Well, he's conflicted as to whether or not he should feel guilty because he really wants that energy. And I feel like he's willing to drain it from you, knowing that is as a valuable asset. It's your blood. It's your source. He, he, he wants your blood. This person's coming off like a vampire, an energy vampire, who's also like, oh, I, I'm in love with you. You know, he may he might be very attractive or he used to be. But now I feel like with your intuition, you can see that this person is dead. This this person has no soul and that's not attractive. So he's going to be confessing something to you. Maybe all the people he drained in the past, maybe the fact that he's much, much older than his his ID card says. Like I see something like like he's he's got an ID that, that says something that says he's much taller than he is or, or, or something like it's a door attention or like he has a pay stub that says he makes more money, but he got it off of a, a prank website or he did something where he like, let you hear the balance of his, his of his uh, account so that you could be impressed. And it's like millions and millions of dollars, but it was just a, it, it was just a recording. More about this pompous energy. What's so pompous about him? It's like he's coming off with, he's coming out of the box with all of these promises on making a commitment. He wants to be your husband. Um, proposing marriage to you. I feel like what's pompous about him is that he's in that same space. Maybe high school or college or grad school, wh wherever you guys committed or were friends in the past, he's still stuck there. And now it's like he wants to start that. He wants to rekindle that flame. He wants to start back up where you guys left off. And you're so much when you last saw him. That's what I feel like is kind of ridiculous about him. That he is so stuck in the past. And also, like, it's so much... His past is so much farther than your past. Because I feel like he's much older. With this vampire energy. Like, you could be younger. Maybe this is something that happened in high school. But he was an older guy back then. It might not even have been that long ago. Or maybe this is something that's just recently happening. So, I'm going to pull some time cards for this energy. There's something else going on here. Something about this marriage. Ecstasy. You're definitely a drug to him. And he's trying to get another hit. Yeah, because he's coming off like he has so much game. He has so much to say. And it's just like, who talks like that? The way he's talking straight out of a movie. Like he's been watching a lot of romance movies. And it's just so studied and rehearsed. I feel like that's what's his his giveaway is that he practiced too long. He practiced what he was going to say to you for years. And then he finally got the courage to contact you. He's blowing, possibly blowing you kisses with this blowing kisses in reverse. It's like, it's just coming off as being cheesy. Healthy choices. Yeah, I don't see him as making a healthy choice. And then with him being in confliction, like I feel like him proposing marriage is is him just going forward with this strategy to drain your energy and life source. He's gonna try to get you pregnant. For some people, that's what I'm that's what I'm getting. That's the vibe here. He's like, all he's thinking about is you. Being tangled up with some kids and not being able to walk away and do whatever you want in life. He just, he wants your life to end. For some people, if this is not what you're, but you know what? Like, I feel like whether you're planning it or not, 
his genes, like no matter what, he's going to produce some regrets, okay? And they're going to be running around howling and screaming like feral, like feral animals. But let's move on because you got this girl with the snake. I just feel like he's a snake and anything he produces is going to have some type of snakeish tendencies. So you're going to love them regardless, but it's going to be a lot of work. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to enjoy it like Venom. Maybe, maybe he wants you guys to get high together, which is not a good idea. And with this blowing kiss, I feel like is a is a innuendo for something else. With this balloon, like like something related to heroin or something. Or he's saying you're his his hero. Like you're his heroine. It's toxic. I'm gonna pull one more card for this. Old school. Yeah, he's he's coming out the woodworks right now. Talking about some stuff y'all got you you guys might have did like twenty years ago, thirty years ago. Talking game from thirty years ago, and um, and just hoping that you'll fall for it. He's hoping, like he's he's really praying and hoping and wishing that a proposal is what it takes. Like you're at that point in your life where you'll just say yes because you know a lot about life and. Maybe you can't get pregnant, so it's not really much of a threat, but I feel like he's still a threat because even if he has you stuck in a house, not living life the way you want to live, like it's like you want to go out and have a good time, but he wants you to stay home and party, like whatever that word means back in the day, like let's just party. But the reality is you guys could be somewhere in a trap house you know, looking horrible. And maybe you got clean. Um, I'm not trying to really like dive into this specific energy, but if it just feels like somebody is doing really well right now and they don't need this desperate person around. Yeah, like even if it's it, kissing ass, blowing kisses at your ass. That's how I feel like that's the highest he can go. That's as, that's as far as he can reach just to be connected with you. This could also be just somebody who was just annoying you in the past and somebody who was just always trying to get tangled in your energy. Like they're back. They're back with some more ideas. Let's get married. But I feel like he probably probably already proposed marriage. And maybe you rejected him. He looks raggedy. That's what I'm getting. Maybe it was hot in the past, like you didn't realize how much the world has to offer you and how far you can go in life, just being happy and loving yourself. I feel like you had to do a lot of work to get over him. And somehow he got a whiff of your energy. And that raggediness about him is not attractive anymore because, you know, he's dirty because he hasn't cleaned, not because he's just like a rebel. He's like rebelling from a shower. It's just not attractive anymore. I feel like you want to get out as soon as possible. Is a love triangle he's proposing? He could be in a relationship. He could actually be a married man. Whatever it was that you guys were tangled up with in the past it was something that it took a lot of work for you to get out of. Maybe like back in the day, you didn't... You didn't see clearly with his tactics. It's, he's very unhealthy. Like this couple could be coming to you right now and trying to propose a relationship. But it's also like something going on in the spirit realm, but they want to take it as far as you're willing to take it, which is drugs. They want to get high and feed off of your energy because you're a positive person. And if they get high on, on their own, they're going to they're going to try to kill each other. Like this energy is just not going where I expected it to go because they just they're toxic individuals. They're going to get depressed. They're going to get angry. They're going to get jealous. But if they have you in the mix, they could get high and start feeding off of your energy. You praying to God to save you from this situation and, and, and begging for forgiveness for even letting this person talk you back into his or her bed. 
but I feel like you can avoid that right now by just standing your ground. Just knowing what this type of person is, is about with this five of uh, swords. He's he he's about being a loser and he wants you to feel bad for him. Yeah, I just saw he's looking you up right now. Looking you up online. And look. But he has a grudge. And he's holding on to that grudge. He's going to try to use that grudge as leverage. Like, remember what you did? Remember how you stole my last ounce and ran away? And I never saw you again? You, you owe me something. Like, I just feel like whatever he's doing... You have definitely graduated from his tactics and his strategies. And you know better. This person is venomous. Yeah, but he's definitely looking you up, trying to waste your time. Because he sees you're going places and it takes time to get there. Move in silence at this time. For some people, it's like, Take a break from posting. Um, for some people, it's like maybe don't show your location until weeks after. Like maybe just have like uh, a period of allowing yourself to do what it is you're doing, and then you can talk about it because he's gonna, he's going to try to meet you there. He wants to meet you there and get tangled up. He wants your full undivided attention. And he's coming off as being mentally ill. This could have been a drugs. Let me pull one more card for this. I feel like he's kind of thrown off because of the drugs. All right. Yeah. One more card for this energy. He needs to go back in a hole where he climbed out of. He's somebody that's successful. Somebody you might have had some type of feelings for. He's hoping that you'll see him in a suit and suddenly think he's a businessman. That's not how it works. This person doesn't have a job. 